of plants. And this is an extension to the article or story that we read last week about a tree is growing. So you're going to be digging a little bit more deeply into the systems of not just trees this week, but plants. Okay? Who would like to read our learning intention in a nice, loud voice? Let's hear from Jocelyn. We are learning how to answer an So at the end of the week, we will be writing our paragraph response using our five-finger rule, okay? And we are going to be working all week towards getting to that answer of that essential question. Who would like to read what our essential question is? In a nice, loud voice, let's hear from Alejandra. How do, how do the parts of a plant work together as a system to help it to Good. How is this essential question just a tiny bit different than last week's essential question? What did, what did Mrs. Morta tweak on our essential question? Michelle? Yes. Last week we just focused on trees, which are a plant. So this week we're going to focus on plants in general. Okay? Um, and today's success criteria is just our first bullet point. We will know we are successful if we are able to conduct a close read by highlighting and annotating the text, and then along the way we can record our connections, questions, and new learnings. We will start out today with having a close read, and then after our close read we will be getting into our think tank groups to share out our ideas and make our posters. Okay? Um, before we get started, let's review our parts of a plant. Last week we learned about the parts of a tree, and the parts of the plant are very similar. So what was one part of a tree that we learned about that, make, that works in that system? Mari? The roots. The roots. They are a very important part of the tree and of all plants. What's another part of a plant or tree? Yes? Um, the leaves. The leaves. Very good. And she remembered that vocabulary word, absorb, which you are going to see again today in your reading. This week, we're going to expand our knowledge and dig a little bit more deeply. They have jobs that help the plant survive. And one of those things is this part. How many morphographs does this word have? Marion? Two. Two. What are the two morphographs? Three. Three. Produce. And produce. What have we learned so far about the morphograph re? What does that mean? If? Again. Again. Okay. So if we know that re means again, I know when we were working with the word produce as a vocabulary word, some of you knew what that meant. What does produce mean? Gavin? To produce again. To produce again. So what does produce mean? If you're producing again, what are you doing, Amrit? Making. You're making again. The H, okay. What is P-H-O-T-O? -O? What's this word? Photo. 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 Okay. In Greek roots, this word photo means light. And the word synthesis is that process of doing something. Okay? So when you make it a part of something. And the plant has a very special job where it takes light and it does something with that light. And one of the parts of the plant has that important job where it's bringing in the sunlight and doing something with the sunlight. And that process of what it's doing is called, boys and girls, what? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. And that's going to be also in your article today, and I want you to focus on that. Okay? So by the end of the week, when we answer our essential question, how do the parts of a plant work together as a system to help it survive, 
I'm expecting you to describe those processes a little bit more than you did last week by using your new vocabulary words, reproduce, pollination, and photosynthesis. Okay? Um, I'm going to pass out your articles. And what do you think should be one of the first things you should do with your article when you get it? Michelle? Continue. You're right about that, and luckily today I did that for you. What's another thing that you should think about doing when you get your article? Jocelyn? Good. How they put it together, how they organized the text. Where's a special place in the front that you can look? It's a nonfiction text feature that helps you understand how the author organized the text. Gabriel? A question that we have about the text. So we have new learnings, questions, and what's the other reason we might be highlighting the text? Alexis? Um, connections. Okay, so remember, when we read and we highlight, we highlight for a purpose. So when we are highlighting, we are recording in the margins our purpose for doing that. It's either a connection, a question, and a new learning. And I'm hoping today that you have some connections for sure, because there should be some connections from last week's article. Does anyone have any questions before we get started? Okay, great. Um, you may get started. Yeah. 
Gabriel, your group can move on to connections and new learnings, okay? Yeah. Um, new learnings. Sunlight helps carbon dioxide mix in water to make a sugar. The box. So as we are listening to the new learnings, if you hear one of those vocabulary words, I want you to show them the signal that you're thinking like they are thinking. Okay, what's our signal to show people that we're thinking like they're thinking? Okay, so we are looking for the words reproduce, photosynthesis, and what was our other one? Pollination. Thank you, Michelle's group. Can we have a little applause for Michelle's group? Nice job working together. Okay, let's hear from Donovan's group. The new learnings, please. Photosynthesis is the process that plants use to bake food. Plants and trees are alike because they need food and water. Okay, great job today, boys and girls. Tomorrow for our second read, we will be thinking more closely about those questions and getting at answering that question part of our charts. But you did a great job today recording ideas and working together in your think tank groups. And remember, as the week goes on, we want to be thinking about answering that essential question and using those three new vocabulary words in our answers.